Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's Monday motivation video, I am taking you guys on a brand new clean, cook, meal prep, and pack with me. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Michelle. My husband and I have four kiddos and we live in Canada. For those of you who do have little ones, you guys know the amount of work and planning and organization it takes to take a family trip with little ones. We have a 10 year old, an eight year old, as well as a two year old little boy and a nine month old little girl. So those little ones definitely are small but come with a lot of things. So I thought I'd take you along today with me while I get my house ready so that when we come back, it's not a complete disaster. I'm gonna do some laundry, pack up all the stuff, sharing with you guys what I'm bringing along, as well as getting some snacks ready for the road too. So for the weeks before our trip, I like to go ahead and make a note on my phone of everything that I'm thinking I'm going to need to bring. So as it comes along, I like to brainstorm and just put that on my list. This way I'm not forgetting anything and I can downsize a little bit later on if need be. But when it gets closer and it's time to really pack, I like to go into my notebook, write everything down. This way I can write it all in one color and scratch off everything that I've already packed or set out to pack. Uh, with a different color this way i can have it right in front of my face when i'm using my phone number one it could get lost or sometimes i just don't want to open and close the phone all the time so having it black on white or on a piece of paper makes it so much easier for me and i could take that along with me throughout the house too the three kids that are coming with us all of their list i've got things like diapers and wipes obviously towels bathing suits swim diapers for the baby, bibs, the winter gear, iPad toys, all the clothes that I need, like the stroller, the baby monitor, sound machine, carrier, slippers, bows, all of the little things that girls need. So I started folding all this here. I like to do that when I'm doing laundry. Instead of doing laundry, putting it all away and then going through their drawers, I do the laundry of what they wore over the course of the past couple days. And then I will start with that, cross everything off that I have already, and then once I'm missing other things, then I'll just run into the rooms and find it that way. I also want to go ahead and show you. She's wearing one right now, but I got her a cute, couple of cute little outfits for Valentine's Day because we're traveling over Valentine's Day. So that's cute. I also got a shirt for my toddler for Valentine's Day. I've got to get those washed. And I've got some swimsuits for them. So I've got a cute little one. I don't know if you could see it. It's kind of bright. A little swimsuit got another one for her and then I got a couple little cover-ups too in case we want to keep her nice and toasty got some little sneakers for my toddler too that he can wear and then he's actually wearing a swimsuit that I got now he was trying it on and I got a couple other ones too Something that I like to do while I'm cleaning my house before an upcoming vacation is make sure that I'm cleaning out my fridge, I'm taking out anything that might be expiring while I'm gone, cleaning out any kind of spills or mess inside the fridge. There is nothing like being gone for several days to several weeks and coming back to just grossness inside your fridge. This also allows me to pull things out and eat the things that we have in the fridge. As you guys can see, there's like nothing in here. Just because I try not to do too many groceries before an upcoming trip, we kind of just make do with what we have. We'll have like a breakfast for dinner or pancakes or anything like that. And we did, and then we just have a few essentials. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull some of these things out, put the stuff in the trash that needs to go in the trash and then put the stuff back into the fridge.
something else that becomes a little bit more difficult while traveling is healthy foods. My husband and I are on a little bit of a quest of healthier eating and a healthier lifestyle. So it's really important for us to incorporate that in our kids' lives as well. So I like to pack up a few extra little fruits and vegetables and some healthy snacks. As you guys saw a little bit ago, I also prepared 12 hard boiled eggs. <laughs> I saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat right next to me Your eyes they glowed and filled me up We had never met before Even doing this meal planning and meal prepping when we're home is something that I do frequently. I just find cutting up, washing up the fruit and vegetables, having them readily accessible for the kids also helps them eat a little bit healthier. And it's a little bit more appealing to be in these glass storage containers opposed to being in those store-bought containers too. The subway leading nowhere Your warm hands rubbed off the cold around me I heard you say that everything is alright But how did you know how I felt? You saw right through me that day I was lost in space Making sure that the house is neat and tidy before we leave is also very important to me. You're going away, you're having a really nice relaxing time with your family, enjoying yourself, but there's nothing worse than coming home to a clutter or to a mess. So making sure that all of that is clean if you can before you leave is really, really awesome. I'm also going ahead right now and organizing my daughter's room, taking up all her stuff that we're going to be packing. So a little bit ago, I went ahead and just got everything organized on my bed from the laundry that we had. But now with my list, I'm going up into her room and just pulling out the rest of the items that we're gonna need. Baby 
my little boy just turned two and a half in January and he's a very, very busy body. You guys can see we've pushed his crib off to the side and he's sleeping just on a mattress on the floor, which is fine for now. If he falls off, then he won't get hurt and then we'll get him a bed probably this spring or this summer. But while he's transitioning, the mattress on the floor has been ideal for us. And I also like to go ahead and all the bedrooms with just a basket like this, put everything in there because my favorite thing to do is organize and pack everything in my master bedroom. My master is on our main floor and I find it so much easier to just bring all the stuff to one space and then go ahead and pack all of that too. Now I got someone to embrace. ahead and lay everything out by child by categories on our bed we're not going away to a warm climate we're staying in a cool climate so it's important for us to have lots of items so this might seem like a lot for a lot of families but we are definitely layering there's an indoor water park too there's a lot of like outerwear we have a lot of sweaters and pants and shorts and swimsuits and all of that too and I don't want, I want to let you guys know that we are again a family of six. So we have so many items and little ones take up so much space too with diapers and swim diapers and high chairs and accessories too. From all the things that I Now that the majority of the little one stuff is packed and ready to go, I'm just going to go ahead and fold some socks, put away some clothes that we're not bringing with us. this point we're leaving really early the following day you guys all know how long how much work it takes to get a big family out of the house in the morning so I like to go ahead and put everyone's clothes out the night before this way the next morning everyone can come right down get themselves dressed have a quick breakfast and brush their teeth and head out the door this way we're not trying to figure out who's wearing what in the morning getting all of them dressed and getting everything organized to leave Don't you feel the time
Alright guys, so that sums up today's clean, pack, and meal prep with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps my channel out so, so much. And if you are new, I would love to have you subscribe. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Such a fine place to be.